NHS Highland provides health services to the north of the country. Uh, we cover an area approximately the geographical size of Belgium, but within that there are 310,000 um, people. We have one major hospital, uh, District General Hospital at Rigmore, which is based here in Inverness, but we also have several rural District General Hospitals in Skye, Loch Arbor, in Caithness, and there's another rural general hospital in the west in Isles, and we also provide services. Our population uh, live partly in urban areas, but a large proportion of them are in remote and rural areas, uh, including islands. What I like personally about Raymore Hospital, it's a small department um, and it's a smaller hospital. It's the main hospital for NHS Highland. Um, it is intimate, but you know everyone. Uh, you know the chief executive, you know the porters, you know the painters, and um, it's a very friendly hospital. Team working in the radiotherapy department is a big part of, of the culture here actually. As a small department we work very well together, um, the physicists, the technicians, the radiographers and the oncologists and the wider team. One of the benefits from working in, in the Highlands is it's very much a team based approach. There's very good interaction between the rest of the hospital and oncology but also within the, the other hospitals that are covered by NHS Highland and with the community services and the GPs. I think people do believe that the Highlands is a bit backwards and not up to date and I think it's important to reassure everyone that we have running water and electricity and indeed modern Lenox and you know looking across Scotland, Rigmore was the first centre to implement image guided radiotherapy across all treatment sites, 100% of treatment sites because as a small department both of the Lenox were equipped with IGRT early on. Um, we were able to bring in uh, VMAT quite easily as a department. The technology that we have is pretty much cutting edge. Both our linear accelerators are both IGRT equipped. We can offer image guided radiotherapy to almost every patient, which I'm not sure that other departments in the country can offer. So I would, I would say that we're, we're pretty much up there with other departments. We're looking to recruit further colleagues in oncology to, to be able to continue to provide the very high quality of cancer services that we currently provide to NHS Highland to future-proof it so that we can continue to develop and expand the range of services that we have. The, the physicists here tend to contribute right across the board, which is another thing that the small department brings in as a benefit. You don't just get pigeonholed into doing treatment planning or to do equipment or symmetry. So um, we're, we're really needing just strength in numbers across, across the whole of the department. I would say NHS Highland is a good employer. Um, they've certainly supported me in my development when I came here as a staff nurse. I've had the opportunity to do further study courses. I've also experienced very good career opportunities. I've wanted to do um, reviewing patients for quite a long time and after being here for a couple of years I got the opportunity to take that module and I'm now doing the non-medical prescribing module. So from a career point of view it's been excellent. When I came to NHS Highland I was struck by two things. First of all I didn't realise that the Centre for Health Sciences existed here and the facilities that are offered are quite outstanding and secondly the ideas that I brought and wanted to grow were really welcomed and I've been given the professional freedom to develop those ideas and expand my, my research team. Everyone talks about the quality of life in the Highlands and Islands and it, it is true, it's a fantastic place to live and bring up a family. The eating places are wonderful, they've, they've developed, there are numerous um, places for music, theatre, they've got all the facilities, we've got places to walk, cycle, um, it's wonderful. The schools in the Highlands are, as far as I can see, they're excellent. My kids, my kids have just left primary school and now into secondary school, they've settled into all, all areas of that really well, much better than I thought they were going to actually. Working in the Highlands is very rewarding professionally, uh, but it's also a fantastic place to live. There's, uh, housing is very cheap, the schools are excellent, there's a very wide range of cultural and social activities that you can do that don't always have to involve Gore-Tex and Wellies. Um, there's much more culturally going on in the Highlands than I think a lot of people initially think. 
Uh, the transport links are good to, to London and to other places for enabling you to get away if you need to, but all in it's, an, it's a very good place to live and work. My plea to anyone watching this video, contemplating their next steps is think seriously about NHS Highland. It offers great opportunities professionally and personally. It's certainly a move I've never regretted. I think we do have um, great clinical facilities and the Highlands is a great place to live. I would say come and visit, come and see what we have to offer, come and speak to our clinical colleagues and have a look around and I think once you've made the jump you won't, won't regret it. I came for three months in 1991 and I'm still here.